Where I come from in New Zealand, we see on our TV screens day after day after day images of Gaza being bombed and children being killed and we hear these headlines about the numbers of children and civilians who have been killed. We don't hear much about Israel's side of the story. Can you tell us about Israel's side of the story? Well, it's very simple. We didn't start this war. We didn't want this war. We woke up to a Jewish holiday, um, to a massacre the worst massacre that the Jewish people have experienced since the Holocaust. They mutilated, murdered, raped women, men, children, the elderly. They dehumanized us. And that only happened because for decades, the media and the education and the rhetoric of the leaders has been to dehumanize Jews and Israelis. And the people who did this, it's in their foundational charter that they want the destruction of the whole of Israel and all the Jewish people, not just here, but around the world. And so, unfortunately, what people don't realize when they see these terrible images is that we didn't start this war. And there's only one people in this territory that want to destroy another people. And it's the Hamas jihadi terrorists that want to destroy the Jewish people. On the other side, we have absolutely no desire. In fact, 20% of the population of our country is Arab and we live in peace with them. In Jerusalem, 40% of the population here is Arab and we live in peace. We live in peace with everybody who wants to live in peace with us. And so Israel, it's our very obligation to defend our people from a clear and present threat to Hamas leadership that have said, October 7th, we will do again and again. And this is what we're trying to do in Gaza. We're trying to dismantle the terrorist infrastructure that created the worst massacre for the Jewish people since the Holocaust, and to make sure that they never do that to us again. And it is every country's obligation to do that for its citizens. We try and minimize casualties. We do not intend to kill innocent civilians, but unfortunately Hamas is committing a double war crime. One is going purposefully for our civilians, and the second is using their civilians as human shields. If they were so interested in the well-being of their people, why don't they let them hide in the tunnels that they've created, 700 kilometers of tunnels? They want their own civilian casualty so that they get legitimacy in this world when all they are are a terrorist group that wants to destroy the Jewish people. They're like the Nazis today. Why is the media so resistant to hearing the other side of the story? Well, that's a good question. I think part of it is that the lie that has been propagated against Israel for the last 100 years is the fact that we are foreign colonizers in a strange land to us, which is the exact opposite of the historical fact and reality that we are the indigenous people of this homeland. And that is why the, the work of the Indigenous Coalition for Israel is so important, because you debunk a lie, which is the Jewish people are not from Judea, not from Israel. This is where we were created. And so what's happened is that the media have taken the narrative of the woke making Jewish people white colonizers in our own homeland, which of course is historically inaccurate and a deliberate defamation against the Jewish people that justifies acts of horrific terrorism from the people who actually are the people who want to commit the genocide on us.